What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Phones and Drones. So completely unexpectedly today, Google just dropped Android 14. That's right, this is an Android 13 beta. This is the full-fledged brand new operating system that will be launching near the end of this year for 2023. And this isn't even obviously in beta form. This is purely for developers to get a look at. The first beta for this will be coming out probably around April. So having said that, like every traditional Google Android platform release, there's a lot to go over. There's a lot to unpack. And I got to show you guys this. Let me open it up really quick. You guys see that? Android version actually says upside down cake. So that's kind of cool. I'm actually very curious and excited to deep dive into this. Let's go ahead and take a quick look. Uh, obviously there's going to be a lot to unpack. This isn't going to be a full fledged video on all the new feature finds, but I do want to give you guys a quick look at what is going to be done and included in Android 14. So there will be a lot of new features that are going to come and some that are going to leave that Google is testing. Keep that in mind. It is actually super quick and easy. If you guys want to flash your device with this, just keep in mind, this is not ready again as even a beta form. This is more of an alpha build. If you guys use this, you will have to wipe your device. It will be brand spanking new. You can't have any apps. You can obviously do a restore, but it will wipe everything. You can use the Android flashing tool. It takes probably a total of five to 10 minutes. The computer and the phone will actually do everything for you. If you guys want to see a video on that, let me know. Leave a comment down below. Big thumbs up on this one. And let's check out this new interface. So after we flashed it and all that, you can see, obviously, we need to reset everything. Haven't even got around to it. Um, you can see we have both of our eSIMs, our Verizon eSIM and a T-Mobile physical SIM installed. And let's take a quick look. We'll go through some of these menus, see if you guys see anything that stands out. But you can see right off the bat, the build number is UPP 1.23. Dot zero one one three dot zero zero nine. Click on it, obviously, you go ahead and unlock the developer build. And what's interesting is if you actually go to Android Upside Down Cake and start clicking it, no new icon yet, just the same Easter egg of the clock where you can spin it. Nothing new yet there. So, having said all that, one cool thing, and I don't believe this was active before, but you can see we have both our Sims in an active but they don't show the information for the IMEI numbers unless you click them. Good little bit of security there if that is new. It's so going back up top. Everything looks fairly similar. There's not a lot of visual overhaul in this update. If you go into your networks and settings, you can kind of see here a very familiar looking interface. Jumping into connected devices. If you go to pair new devices, all the same as you would expect. Connection preferences. You do have this new fast pair option. I believe this wasn't present. Go ahead and turn that on. So anything like your Pixel Buds Pro or anything that supports a fast pairing, you now have this as an option to enable as well. Make sure you do that. Nearby share, that's all the same. Android Auto. Chromebook, your phone is not linked. Okay. Apps, obviously, is just your list of recent apps. Nothing really major here. Notifications. Nothing really standing out as well. Let's see if there's any updates to the battery indicator or anything. Battery usage, battery breakdown by app. That's neat. By system. Okay. We'll have to see how well or how bad this actually is going to impact our battery with this alpha build, basically. Adaptive preferences. Nothing really new there. Yeah. Battery percentage. Let's go ahead and enable that. So nothing, nothing crazy yet that I'm seeing. Let's go by system. Okay. Yeah. Nothing out of control being found here just yet. Let's check out what else we got. Storage looks exactly the same. A little bit of a change, but nothing major. Sound and vibrations. Adaptive sounds, go ahead and turn that on. Spatial audio, very cool. Now playing, re-enable that. Show search button on lock screen, yes, that's not new. Default, clear calling, these are all available already in the latest build of Android 13. 
Okay. Display settings, adaptive, brightness, screen timeout, theming, night light, colors, adaptive, or neutral, resolution. Okay. So nothing new here either as well under display. Wallpaper and styles. Let's see if we want to change our wallpaper. Mm, let's go to this one. I like that always. So there was rumor in one of the newer Android 13 QPR builds that this is going to be a new full screen indicator instead of just this tiny window to preview. Uh, that'll be nice when it becomes available. Obviously, it's not yet. We can download this if we want. And then we'd be able to set this option as our uh, home screen and lock screen. So after that, we can obviously change our color palette. Still a ton of options here. Nothing really crazy. It looks like that wallpaper didn't stick. There we go. Let's go ahead and confirm it. There's that full screen preview. Set wallpaper. Awesome. That looks really good. But again, nothing major yet. You can see it automatically tweaked the look. Let's go back there. I'm sorry about that. You have our new palette of color options with the new bluish theme. Go ahead and use the themed icons. Nothing new again there. Accessibility. Extra dim, that's always nice. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything really crazy new that's standing out here. Let's see about location. Nope, nothing there. Safety and emergency, obviously, we can set up everything. Crisis alerts, emergency SOS, crash detection. Okay. So, yeah. Okay, well, obviously, we can see a uh, common theme here that nothing out of control is in this update. One thing I did notice when you actually hop into the system settings and go into the system update, look at this window you're getting. And it actually is updated since I pulled it in. It used to be an old screen logo uh, rather than this one, but that looks like it pushed already to, to an updated version. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so, not too much to be seen here on the actual front end of the device. There could be some in the coding. We're going to do a deeper dive and really look into this thoroughly, but that's your first look at Android 14. You guys excited? Thanks for watching, guys. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace.